today's video we're going to go over five of the top things that you should carry in your record at least in my opinion five of the top things that you should carry in your record at all times I come and go like a rah rah round They don't want the two be going nah 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 I'm coming back with the money in the bag The rubies in my lap, yeah I'm running with the cash I'm coming go like a rah rah round Putting in a word like I'm way behind Still trapping on the low low Lurking in the mold like I'm running from the pole boy. Yeah, I could yeah. get up cause I'm a hero in my own town Whoa, we just running on our own Everybody, welcome back to Jack TV. This is your boy Joey Badass, and as always, I'm trying to bring you the best videos, the dopest content, and the hottest towing and repo videos that you can find on YouTube. As always, please smash that subscribe button, like this video, comment what you want to see next, and please share with all your friends, other tow truck buddies, whoever else in the game or industry that you want to share with. So, no further ado, let's get right into this video. I don't want to make it any boring for you guys, so let's go. All right, guys, we're going to start off with number five. And in my opinion, that would be a miscellaneous tool bag, including impact sockets, wrenches, screwdrivers, and other miscellaneous tools that you would need if you're on a tow or a repo to where the customer didn't leave the keys or it's parked in a position to where, say, it's front wheel drive and it's pulled into a parking spot and you need to lift it from the front. If you can't get to it from the side and maneuver it out that way, then you're gonna to need to get in the car, put it in neutral, and push it backwards, or hook it from the rear and pull it out to a safe spot that you can hook it from the front. Now, if you wanna put it in neutral, you can get a screwdriver, go in there and pop the little neutral cap and put it in neutral, stick the screwdriver in the hole, put it in neutral, and push it backwards. Or if you need something fixed on your truck, you got little miscellaneous tools, or if you're doing a tire change, you have impacts, or anything. It's always good to have miscellaneous tools. Number four, in my opinion, would be a good set of hand tools, such as or battery-operated impact gun, or battery-operated flashlight, or battery-operated air inflator. I have all three. I use them every day almost, and they come in handy for everything, such as taking tires off, filling a tire up, or even using the flashlight at nighttime to vent a vehicle, or to just go in a dark yard or a dark garage if it's open, or anywhere that I would need a flashlight, I could always use a flashlight. You can never have enough flashlights on your truck. Number three. Number three would be your basic roadside equipment jumping cables or a battery pack for starting a car or your lockout kit always keep them on handy because once again i use them nearly every day like i said again for towing you can use a lockout kit if a customer doesn't leave keys and you need to get inside that vehicle to either strap the steering wheel if it's a rear wheel drive car or like i said get in neutral or anything that you would need to get inside that vehicle for in my other compartment, I keep a jack at all times. I also keep a four-way, and I keep my impact gun, because sometimes you might be on a job and do too many of them, and you can't charge your battery at that time, and your battery dies. You're gonna need that four-way. Number two, keep a good set of straps. Straps are very important for everything. You need to strap all your vehicles. Don't be that fly repo man that you see seeing on TikTok or YouTube that goes and hooks it up real fast and dips out. Man, put your straps on, bro. Don't have no fucking accident. Don't be stupid. Don't be cute for the fucking video. Put your goddamn straps on, man. Put your goddamn straps on. And I'm not just saying that because my motherfucking boom needs some new bushings, which I got and I need put on. But put your goddamn straps on, bro. Put them on, man. I know you guys go down the street and put them on, but... Just get out and strap them on, man. Stop being cute. Number one, of course, is your fire extinguisher, your triangles, and your flares. Make sure you have them at all times. That is ultimate number one to have on your truck at all times because you will get stopped by DOT or you will have to go through that inspection station at the weigh station 
and you're going to need all three because that's the first things they ask for. So don't be stupid. Keep your fire extinguisher in your truck. Keep it full. Keep it tagged with the clip on there. Don't use it. If you use it, replace it. Make sure you keep fresh flares at all times just in case you break down. And keep your triangles in your truck. Don't be stupid. Don't get caught without it. Those are the five things that you should keep in your truck at all times. In my opinion, your opinion might be different, but I'm telling you, those are the most important things that you need to keep in your truck at all times. If you know something else that you need to keep in your truck, list it down below. What are the five things you guys keep in your trucks? I want to know. Share it with me, guys. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Show me what you guys keep in your trucks. Tell me what you guys keep in your trucks. Tell me what I should put in my truck. Let me know. I'm learning just like y'all are learning, but those are the five important things that I keep in my truck at this time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out the other video. Here's the link right here to the rest of the videos. Thank you. I'll be there with you. The universe on pause. As long as I'm with you.